Federer away. This man, and Leto Monicelli, a strike in the fourth, the fifth, leaving the bucket here. And marking with his fair and continuing to hold a lead over his opponent, Mark Williams. See what Williams does. Does he take a cue from Amleto Monicelli? Both these players are normally big, powerful football players. Williams has watched Monicelli go to the hard, straight one. Let's see if Williams does it, too, to get back in this match. Gary. The stylist is left with a 7-10. Incidentally, three of those were made this week. Mark Roth, our tournament leader, Joe Berardi, and an amateur whose name we couldn't come up with. And how they made it, Chris, is they take the ball, throw it very hard into the 10 pin, hopefully bounce it out into the 7. That's the way to make the 7-10 split. Oh, you see it bounce around there. Sometimes you get a break and it comes out. Well, you need better luck than that at the tables around here. <laughs> mm. Well, back to the wall. Walt Mark Williams, trailing by 34, has found that his big hook ball is just not working. Maybe he ought to pick up that spare ball that he normally uses. That'll go a lot straighter and throw it right towards the pocket like Monicelli's doing. Gets by with a hook there. Strike in the sixth frame. Monicelli is now shooting in the sixth with a spare working. If you just joined us, uh, he won over Gip Lentine, 163 to 153. Lentine defeating Walter Ray Williams in her first game, 190 to 189. for the man who this fall at the Bud Budweiser Classic in Columbus lost to Leroy Bornhop in the title match 169 to 160. <laughs> Still, who wins? It's not by how many. And uh, Monicelli right now has found the proper way to, to play the lanes. Uh, he's going hard and straight between the second and third arrows, not giving up what we say, the pocket. He never throws the ball wide enough to really miss the head pin. So he can take a commanding 44-pin lead if he can double here in the seventh. Leaving a four-pin. Smart bowling, though. Keeping it in play. Nobody can get a string. Everybody's proven that so far. Don't defeat yourself. It doesn't make any difference if you bowl 250 or 150. The big difference is whether you win or lose that game. Monicelli keeping the ball in play right now, figuring that 200 will win the match, and I believe it will. Should that be the case, he would go on to meet the great Mark Roth. We'll be back. Elite skaters vie for a national title plus a spot on the U.S. Olympic team. The U.S. Figure Skating Championship and ABC Sports Special tonight. Eight frame shot and a strike by Mark Williams as we're running way over our allotted time. While we were away in the seventh frame, Williams left a 1-3-6-9, covered it for his spare. He's going against Amleto Monicelli, the 26-year-old from Venezuela, who has a 34-pin lead, can increase it as he shoots in the ninth with a strike up. All right, leading by 44 pins. Good lesson to be, be learned right here from Amleto Monicelli as he keeps the ball in play, goes straight down and in, uses a lot of speed. Good match play strategy. And I would say three years ago, he'd have blown it right here, Chris. But as he comes up here in the ninth, he can extend his lead to 44 pins. Left lane. a two pin next week in Torrance California Gable House the $150,000 AC Delco Classic to be followed we move to Grand Prairie Texas the Quaker State Open Don Carter's Kendall Lanes in New Orleans and over to Venice Florida for the Four Journal Open as we see Mark Williams come up here in the eighth frame he has a chance to get back in this match. Monticelli going in at 209 pace. Williams, if he could strike four more times, would finish with 205. But it's now or never. He must strike to stay in the match. 
winner to meet Mark Roth for the $33,000 first prize. It's history, Chris. This yeah. match is over. Monticelli just has to stay in the building. The best Mark Williams can do is 185. Monticelli uh, obviously has it locked up. He knows it, but trying to keep his control here. And it'll be 9,000 for the Beaumont, Texas club. Interesting, in the next game, the winner will get 33,000. The runner-up or loser will get 17,000. If you have any questions on bowling, send a card or letter to Ask Bow, Post Office Box 217, Ansonia Station, New York, New York, 00. One oh two three. All right, Mark Williams is out of the match, Chris. It's all over. The best he can have is one seventy-five. Monticelli already has the match locked up. As we come to the final match, we're going to see the great Mark Roth against Amleto Monticelli. Great match coming up. That's next. Amleto Monticelli winning his match over Mark Williams by 44 pins, 218 to 174. So now he goes against 33-time champion Mark Roth. As we go to Bo Burton. And with me, Marshall 